वी आर नॉट अफ्रीड टू डाय बाय गॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन ईस्ट पार्ट टू ऑफ द लेसन फाइट फॉर सर्वाइवल बाई जनवरी थ्री दे वर एबल टू कंट्रोल द वॉटर लेवल टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट दे वर एबल टू टेक रेस्ट फॉर टू आवर्स बाय टेकिंग टर्न ट्रीमेंडस मीन्स एक्सट्रीमली लार्ज बट दे वर स्टिल वारिड अबाउट एन एक्सट्रीमली लार्ज लीक विच वॉज समवेयर बिलो द वॉटर लाइन The wave that had hit Wave Walker had caused extensive damage. Nearly all the boat's main rib frames had been smashed down to the keel. An entire section of the starboard hull was being held up merely by a few cupboard partitions. they had braved the storm for 15 hours but wave walker could not hold together long enough for them to reach australia the wave had left it in a considerably bad state as it was not in a condition to make them reach australia they decide and hope to reach the nearest island isle amsterdam a french scientific base pin pricks in the vast ocean means very small like a point of pin this phrase expresses the search for two small islands in the vast ocean abated means to reduce in intensity auxiliary means held in reserve for unfortunately the chances of their reaching the island were very less it could be possible only if the wind and the seas calmed down besides their supporting engine had also been damaged desperation to reach the land january 4 on january 4 the voyagers felt relieved after the rigorous exercise of continuous pumping out the water for 36 hours they heaved a sigh of relief as just a few centimeters of water was left to be pumped out they decided to hoist the storm jib as the main mast was destroyed and hoped to reach the supposed location of the islands Having found some corned beef and crackers they ate their first meal in 2 days But their respite was short lived the weather started changing for the worse January 5 deteriorate means become worse the weather worsened during the night By the morning of January 5 they were desperate again Fear of death loomed large they were under great mental stress Courageous Jonathan as the narrator goes to comfort the children he is spellbound to see the fearlessness of his son The children are mature enough to perceive that their end might be near. Jonathan innocently asks his father whether they were all going to die. On the narrator's reassurance, he bravely remarked that he did not fear death as long as all of them were together. 
This is the turning point of the story as the statement enthuses the physically, mentally and emotionally fatigued narrator with a renewed vigor. These words fill him with the determination and courage to fight the sea. With all the moral support that he receives from his children, he continues with his efforts. Despite being injured, he decided to give his best, retained his composure and applied every possible strategy to tackle the critical situation. He is determined to fight with the best of his abilities, which shows his courageous nature. It also reflects that he is a loving and caring father. The ongoing struggle. He tries his best to protect the weakened starboard side. He did so with an improvised anchor of heavy nylon ropes and two 22 litre plastic barrels of paraffin. This shows his resourcefulness and determination. That evening, the narrator and his wife sat together holding hands, feeling hopeless and thinking that their end was approaching. The motion of the ship brought more and more water in through the broken planks. January 6, but still, with all the moral support that he receives from his children, he continues his efforts. Fortunately, wave walker sails through the storm because the wind had slowed down. The third section, moral support by the children and the search for the island. He went to the chart room and worked optimistically on wind speeds, changes of course, drift and current. He calculated their position, that is where they were in the immense ocean, with the help of the sextant. Sextant means an instrument for measuring wind speed. They were searching for a 65 km wide island in a 150,000 km vast expanse of the ocean. She was moving painfully as the left side of her head was very swollen and her eyes had become black and narrow. Her eyes looked like slits. Caricatures are satirical portraits or cartoons. While he was thinking, Sue joined him. She forgot about her swollen head and prepared a card which she gave to her father. On the front, it had caricatures of Mary and the narrator. She called them funny people who had made her laugh. It also contained a message. The purpose of the card is to express her love, gratitude, optimism and good wishes. It is also her attempt to enliven the gloomy atmosphere due to the threat looming over them. In search of the island, the narrator had lost his main compass. He was using a spare one. It had not been corrected for magnetic variation. 
he had to make allowance for this as well as for the influence of the westerly currents though he checked and rechecked his calculations he was not sure he depended on luck as well he was not very convinced he instructed larry to steer a course of 185 degrees saying that they could hope to find the island by the evening that is about 5 pm he then went off to sleep with a heavy heart when he woke up it was already 6 pm and it was growing dark he thought that they might have missed the island they couldn't hope to beat back into the westerly winds with the sail they had been left with ultimate victory tousled head means hair in disarray this arranged hair of the author's son jonathan fortunately they sail on and manage to find isle amsterdam by evening when jonathan called him the best daddy in the world and the best captain and asked for a hug he refused the same on being informed about this the narrator's joy knew no bound sue told her daddy that the island was as big as a battleship and was out there in front of them relieved the narrator gazed at its complete outline it was a bare piece of volcano rock with hardly any vegetation and only 28 inhabitants yet he called it to be the most beautiful island of the world because it provided them with safety from the huge waves of the sea it also gave them the opportunity to repair the damaged ship it was a ray of hope for their survival soon they got off shore and struggled to reach the island with the help of its inhabitants after stepping on land he thought of his companions larry and herb who had remained cheerful and optimistic under the most serious situations his wife mary who had stayed at the wheel during the crucial hours his daughter susan who did not bother him about her head injury the word recurring means occurring again and again with repetition Susan's injuries were serious because it took six minor operations to remove a recurring blood clot between skin and skull. And his courageous son Jonathan, who was not afraid to die. The story explains how we must react in the direst of the situations. It teaches us that we must never lose hope and try to find solutions and stay positive in the face of adversity. We must try our best to remain calm and composed and understand the power of unity and teamwork. the importance of common sense putting continuous efforts to overcome the catastrophe and the significance of being extra cautious and careful are also learned from such hazardous experiences in this story the children play a very crucial role
they were loving caring and concerned towards their parents they were very courageous and retained their calm and composure even at a time when the adults had given up hope of survival thanks for watching if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel importance of common sense putting continuous efforts to overcome the catastrophe and the significance of being extra cautious and careful are to be learned from such hazardous experiences